heard a comment the other day from another camper and he said, so you actually tow that big rig with your three quarter ton? Yeah, I do. Today I'm gonna show you how I make that possible. I wanna go over some of the things I've done to my truck that I think have really helped it out. I think most of us can benefit to some upgrades even if you're all within its towing limits, there's still things you could do to make it tow more efficient, to make it a little easier on the truck and help it last a long time. All the upgrades I've done to my truck have been about making it better than stock. Just make what I ask it to do, that it can do it easier. So let's start with the first upgrade I made. There's 7,500 pound airbags. I'll put a link in the description. They're great, they're awesome. With 16,000 pounds on the back of this, if I inflate up at 80 pounds, the bed's not sinking at all. It's gonna hold its standard ride height. Before I had them on there, it was only about an inch above the tires. A lot of people like the onboard air compressors. I've seen a lot of issues with them with leaky valves, solenoids going out, electrical issues. It's real simple. We just have airlines running from back here straight to the bags. So I just air them up to what I want that morning before I tow and I'm done. My air compressor blows. I just go buy a new one. Pull up to a gas station near these up. You have an onboard air compressor, good luck. While we're talking about the air compressor, this is the air compressor I have and it's freaking great. One of these little Vive Air air compressors. It connects up to the battery, so that's nice and simple. And what's nice is you can connect them up to your RV's batteries. There your RV's tires up too. It has a nice big long hose that goes with it and this thing stretches out. It was a little bit pricey, but definitely worth the money, so. What are we planning on for dinner tonight? I don't even know. Should do pizza, it sounds good. We're gonna air the airbags up. I haven't checked these airbag levels in three months, so let's see where they're at. You can see right there, we're at about 10 PSI. All right, Brandon, turn it on. Stop. That's 20 PSI. Let's see how quick it inflates these bags back up, so I didn't see no need to go buy an onboard air compressor for that little of air needed. And this system is just so much more simple. You're gonna spend under $500 doing this yourself. These are 7,500 pound bags also, so that's gonna really increase your payload. All right, so this is the truck's stock ride height with the bags completely deflated. I'm gonna air it up to 80 PSI and show you how you get a couple inches out of the deal. I think that's a difference. I think we gained a few inches. I think if you were able to do that, Brennan, you may have a girlfriend. That's the airbags there, I really like them. I wouldn't ride around with 80 PSI unless I was pulling a trailer. Under normal conditions, driving around town, 10, 20 PSI is about all you want. All right, so next thing I'm gonna show you is my backup camera. This I actually like a lot because I've got a camera also mounted on the back of the fifth wheel. So I can do dual screens with it. But like right now, when I'm just going around town and it's just me, you can see how crisp and clear that is. Go back behind the camera, Brennan, so they can see you. I mean, that's a pretty clear camera right there. Do a Fortnite dance. No. Do a Fortnite dance. No, I'm not gonna do a Fortnite yes. dance. Since when were you not willing to do a Fortnite dance? For a very long time. Occasionally do it every now and then. Real nice camera, I really love this system here. These reverse cams, you can put one on the back of the trailer, one on the back of the truck. Sometimes the one on the back of my trailer lags a little bit, but it is 40 feet long, so. The next mod I did was the TPMS sensors. Great to have TPMS sensors on your truck, on your trailer, let you know what, if you have any issues, because this one right here, it'll tell you the PSI. It'll tell you also the temperature of the tires, which is important. If you're getting close to a blowout, you're gonna start getting real high on air pressure. If one did fail, got a hole in it, you'd see that it was losing air pressure. It'd save you from bigger problems, so. Very important also if you're towing. All right, the next mods you can't see quite as well, but this truck had the original radiator, so that's something to check is your radiator. Mine was a little plugged up. I tried to take it out, see if it was worth cleaning, it just wasn't. The other mod I did, aftermarket, Mishimoto, Mushimoto, something or another. Mishimoto. Trans cooler. This is gonna make a huge difference towing. I haven't tried it yet, but just driving around town, my transmission's not even getting over 120 degrees. It's awesome. The other thing I did was brand new thermostats because why the heck not? New fan, new serpentine belt. Just tried anything I could do while I had everything apart. Went through and upgraded and got better pieces in. Let's see what else is there. I flushed out the whole cooling system, of course, because I had to put a new radiator in. So that's nice. Just feels good when you get all this kind of maintenance done and know your truck's ready to rock and roll. So a couple of my future upgrades. I'll show you what I got planned. 
I'm gonna install this puppy. This is a, a 2000 watt power inverter. Probably gonna actually install it in the back of the truck, maybe under the back seat there. And then I'll have some power on the road if I need it. This is just a cheapie. I didn't wanna buy a super expensive one because I probably won't hardly ever use it except in an emergency. See, my plan is, is to ever installed something like that right there. So you can just whip something around, plug it in if you need to. And then the very last mod I have planned, new set of tires. You can see these tires are getting a little bit low. Back tires especially. Front tires aren't too bad. And maybe a new set of shocks too. It might be the very last thing and we'll be all set. It costs a lot of money, you know, to keep doing all these things, but it's worth it when you're done and you're pulling your rig down the road and you know you can depend on your truck, you're confident in it. Sometimes you just gotta take your vehicle and put some money into it and make sure it's all built right for towing, especially if you're gonna tow a 40 foot fifth wheel like what we have. All right, that's it for today. I'm gonna put some links in the description on some of this stuff in case you wanna get some of it. Everything here I love, we'll, uh, we'll finish out with that and uh, call it a day. All right, shut it off. Have we tried barbecuing a pizza yet? No. I want to try it. So my nephew started a gamer channel called Happy Gamer. This gaming channel will probably blow up and be one of the biggest ones like Mr. Beast someday. Anyways, if you'd like to get in early and be one of his earliest subscribers, this would be a great opportunity and I will put a link in the description.